IMRRA, a unique system for marine risk rating. Almost 100 maritime accidents occur in the world every year. Such high figures for the accident rates makes a serious and critical consideration of the issues of safety in navigation and a reduction of marine risks crucial. The International Maritime Risk Rating System, IMRRA, founded in July of 2013 with the support and participation of several major oil companies and terminals, is designed to provide the industry with the tools needed for an assessment of and reduction in marine risks. The IMRRA experts have developed a modern system for maritime risk rating for oil terminals, traders, operators, management companies, ship owners and charterers. The system is based on independent analysis founded on diversified criteria used in advanced maritime practice. Why is all of this of such interest now in particular? IMRRA is a basic tool that minimises maritime risks that threaten life and health, that involve pollution of the environment and cause financial and image losses. The most pressing task now is the creation of a uniform system which will make it possible to properly manage the maritime risk assessment criteria and reduce them to a common denominator in order to make the process more transparent and efficient. Such a system has been developed by the IMRRA experts. The rating system processes information that is taken from various sources. They include maritime industry databases, PSC data, terminal operator reports and the results of manual inspections. The IMRRA rating methods are based on three basic foundation stones, static, dynamic and verified risk factors. The static factors are based on the ship's technical characteristics, Q88, classification society data, databases on ship owners and operators, information on accidents, insurance incidents and inspection audit results. The dynamic risk factors are based on the information furnished by the port control services, coast guard services, reports drawn up by terminals and inspections on safety and information from various databases. The verified risk factors cover the analysis of collected information obtained with the aid of inspections and screenings. They show the trends for improvements or degradations in the indicators. The mathematical models used to estimate financial risks are employed here as the basis for the creation of the algorithms for the objective calculation of maritime risks. Who can use the system? IMRRA provides access to the system to all industry participants, from small enterprises to large corporations. Traders and charterers can use the system when making decisions about whether a specific ship can be used for their business. If the risk score is within the average indicator range or below, you can request additional information in order to confirm that the ship is sufficiently safe for cargo transportation. If the rating is above average, the result can be used as grounds for a rejection or for additional assessment. The vetting departments of oil terminals can use the rating system for assessment of a ship prior to its operation of the terminal. If the risk score is within the permissible range or below average, a decision can be made without any subsequent checks. If the average indicators are too high, this can be grounds for a request for additional assessment. The ship owners, operators and management companies can use the risk rating as a parameter for planning internal inspections and audits and also to check and analyse data within the frameworks of their fleet improvement programmes. How does it work? The Maritime Risk Rating System can be found on the IMRRA site www.marinerating.com to become a system user, you register on the site. The registration and login buttons are located in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Having registered, enter your login and password to enter the site. On the main page, you will see the following. 
current average risk rating, calculated on the basis of the data on 6,626 ships contained in the IMRRA database. Average risk rating according to type, age and classification. A click on the Vessels button will take you to the Risk Rating Vessels page. To view the rating of a specific vessel, you can specify a search parameter A. A ship name, IMO number B. Operator name In addition, you can compare the risk rating of a specified ship with the average risk for the whole fleet, as well as by category. You can lodge an application for the assessment of a ship not available in the database by clicking on Add Ship. The Details button will take you to the next page where you can A. View the rating separately by static, dynamic and verified parameters. B. Lodge an application for the risk assessment of a specified ship. C. Order a ship inspection. Using the Operators button, you can view the average risk rating for various shipping companies. Please send any questions you might have on the Maritime Risk Rating System to the IMRRA experts at the following address, risk at marinerating.com. The Maritime Risk Rating System is successfully operated at thousands of oil terminals. But what is crucial today is not just risk reduction, it's the establishment of quantitative risk assessment and monitoring to change their profiles in accordance with the existing standards and market conditions. IMRRA proposes that all industry participants sail in the same boat in order to combine our efforts and in so doing to enhance safety at sea in general.